Alrighty, welcome back to the principles of tiling videos again here. It's been a while since we've done these, but um, yeah, we're going to work on uh, this little room here. I've already got the background done for. This is a tiled background, as you can see. <clears throat> we already got the um, objects laid out roughly, at least. These might uh, change, so I'm going to start right away with them. Um, first of all, we got a layer 5. It's a lower layer, lowest layer of this room. I'm going to use num neg negative 3. So what I usually use for um, standard, the, the floor you run on basically like this. And then all they did here is I hold shift and drag to let you select whatever size of tiles you want. Which makes things a lot quicker. Because all the slopes I can just do this really quick. Well for most of them. Except for these ones that they, they got like the, the cap done basically. So yeah, that's nice and simple. This long one here, and then I like to do something funky with the door part of it too, like this, to kind of gives it somewhere to go with, you know, some little extra funky design. I try to make them not um, match at all. <clears throat> I seem too consistent of being the same thing, you know. You want stuff to not like stand out terribly, but. And then do something like this, I think, here. Yeah, that one, maybe this one. You'll see why in a minute, not that tile either, but. And then this, we just use that one, so I'll we'll use that again. Put the two of these here. And I'm still, like, not happy with that, so. Let's do this once. This, we always want variation in here, that's why I'm doing that. Um, and then this showing here isn't going to matter, we'll get to that why in a minute. Uh, that doesn't matter, but... Um, let's try this one, see, make a good formation sometimes. Um, yeah, so we'll do this, this, this. This one here, maybe this one here actually, and this one down there, and then I get away with no, that's not gonna look good. Let's get this one get out of here. Now you can see I like to vary the cave type design as much as possible, give them as much movement as humanly possible to keep them looking nice. That looks good there. Back to over here. Yeah, that doesn't look as good as the other one did. And there. Not that one. Not that one either. Not to go with that one. This one. And again, a little something fun over the door here just because. Because I don't need the other half of this, I can sometimes go with doing something like this too here. And then here I'm going to take these cave and I'm going to take it down and sort of taper it off in a way. this 
So yeah, that'll work for right now, I think. I'll leave that. Maybe I'll we'll throw one more in here just to widen the expanse a bit. And we'll vary this actually a little better by using this here. Alright, so we got a complete continuity of the bottom here so far. I'm just gotta check my recording time. Alright, we got a little bit of time left. I'm gonna kick it into high gear a bit here. Um, so yeah, I always like to start with these big rocks and place these around something. This is a variation of the Criteria tile set from Super Metroid. Um, I got these rocks here that I like to start with, and I usually, this is what I usually do with them, is I wrap the rock with one of these type of things, and then go to the next tile down, and then kind of make sure those all contact as much as possible, and then try to give it some space in between. And then I randomly pick another rock and I come over somewhere like here. That looks good, I think, even. And wherever it fits, you know, is where it can go. And then boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Oops, that one's outside the room. So here I'll do something like without the rock. I'll just put this in here for some variation of the background. And then here I will also use some more. I'm thinking I'm gonna move this one down a little bit just because it looks a little bit better where it Yeah. Yeah, see so we got some good variation in here now. And um what I'm gonna do is I am going to create a, yet another layer. This one's gonna be negative two. And I got other tiles in here for this for this. I didn't really make up my mind before I did this on what type of tiles I was going to use for down here yet, so... Take some other stuff to fill this in. And just put that in there as like a little trick block, maybe. on the inside here too, that's right. That looks better I think even. So yeah. Definitely uh, make sure that everything's gonna be covered there. And I'll do the same thing over here. and we will get this in the second part of the next video.